Okay. Um, just listening. Listen. God gave uh, Moses because Moses was getting ready to die. God gave Moses a charge to give to Joshua. Mm -hmm. He did that. And God also gave Samuel a charge to go give to David because Saul was disobedient. God also gave uh, Saul a charge who later became Paul. But he didn't. Yes, he did. God sent that God sent that charge to Ananias. Mm -hmm. He told Ananias, he told Saul, he said a man named Ananias. God gave Saul a charge through Ananias. But look at here. God had previously spoken to Saul even before he sent him to Ananias. God gave Jesus a charge to give to his disciples. You remember that? When he said, go out into the nations and preach, teach the gospel. Wherever you go, wherever you're going, he said, teach it. <laughs> but even before he gave his son the charge, he allowed John the Baptist to lead the way. So can God give the charge as well? Yes, he can. It doesn't have to always come through anybody. Have you received the charge? Because the charge allows you to teach. The charge allows you to spread the good news, which is the gospel, which is about Jesus Christ. Have you received a charge? Is there a mandate on your life hmm, in which you are running for the word of God, running for the works of God, running in obedience to God, running in God's love? Mm -hmm. Have you received a charge? Who has God given a charge to give to you? You're getting one right now. Hmm?